Perhaps the most significant gauge in the entire car is the one that indicates the temperature. It assists you in averting irreversible damage by indicating when the engine is beginning to overheat. You are aware that when the temperature rises, you should stop the car and allow it to cool. However, what should you do if the temperature gauge on your car rises and falls? In this video, we examine the issues that lead to temperature gauge problems. We also go over the significance of accurate diagnostics and demonstrate how to resolve the issue. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Bad thermostat. The coolant's temperature is controlled by the thermostat. It may behave erratically and cause the gauge to jump up and down if it begins to fail. It won't behave this way once it goes bad. The engine cannot cool down when the thermostat is stuck closed because the coolant cannot flow. This causes the motor to overheat. The engine will run at lower than usual temperatures if the thermostat is stuck open. The HVAC system might also be giving you problems getting heat. Air and cooling system. There may be air in the system if you are occasionally observing a drop in the temperature gauge. A blown head gasket or a malfunctioning radiator cap allow air to enter the system. It may also seep in as a result of incorrect coolant flushing techniques or a radiator hose leak. The engine will begin to overheat when the coolant is held back by the air pocket. The engine temperature can return to normal once it starts up again. Low coolant. The temperature gauge may behave strangely if there is an excessive amount of water in the cooling system. It's crucial that too little coolant enters the system, even though some people mix coolant with water. If there isn't enough coolant, the temperature will rise. You may notice odd temperature swings because coolant is more effective at removing heat from an engine than water is. It's advisable to replace the coolant if the engine overheats. According to your car's service requirements, use the antifreeze and water mixture that is advised. Faulty Coolant Temperature Sensor The likelihood of an erroneous reading stemming from a coolant temperature sensor malfunction is higher. This component, which is located in the engine, is susceptible to contamination. The sensor may send the incorrect signal if it becomes corroded or damaged. If it is functioning erratically, it may also result in inconsistent readings. Defective Temperature Gauge There's always a chance that the temperature gauge is malfunctioning. While it's not always the first thing to check, if all other options are exhausted, you should definitely consider the instrument cluster. When there are problems with the instrument cluster, you will frequently notice other issues as well. Examine the remaining gauges to determine whether there is an electrical malfunction. Bad Computer Module a malfunctioning computer module may be the cause of erratic behavior from the temperature gauge. Data transmission from the engine and other systems in the car depends on this component. Data that moves the temperature gauge must be relayed by the module. However, because this component controls a wide range of systems, if the module is malfunctioning, you might also notice other odd problems. How to fix Fill cooling system the average cost of a professional coolant flush is between $65 and $150, but this is another task that can be completed from home. After emptying the radiator, replenish it with purified water. Give the car 10 minutes to run. After turning off the engine, empty the system of any remaining dirty water. Add new coolant to the system, mixing it according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Replace thermostat. The average cost to replace an automobile thermostat is between $125 and $300. That being said, doing it yourself is not a tough task. Locate the thermostat first. It may be on the bottom hose, but it is most likely where the top radiator hose connects to the engine. Catch the coolant in a bucket underneath and remove the clamp. After removing the old thermostat, install a new gasket. At this point, you can install the new thermostat, swap out the components, and refuel the cooling system. Bleed Cooling System If you see trapped air, you can also bleed the cooling system. Remove the radiator cap and add as much coolant as you can into it. Turn the fan down to low, turn the heat up to high, and start the engine. As the coolant levels fall, keep topping it off. To circulate the coolant, loosen the bleed valves and give the engine a few revs. Continue doing this until the temperature stabilizes. Replace Temperature Gauge Sensor or Gauge Replacing the temperature gauge sensor should run you anywhere from $200 to $450. The coolant temperature sensor on the engine side or top may need to be changed. Additionally, it's possible that the gauges themselves are the problem. Before beginning to replace parts, make sure you carry out the appropriate diagnostics. If not, you might have to spend money on pointless repairs. Replace computer module. Out of all the repairs, this one is the most costly. For parts and labor, a new engine control module typically costs between $300 and $1,500. If there is a problem with the engine control module, it should be visible with a decent code scanner. When this central hub begins to malfunction, you might also experience other strange symptoms. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also become a sponsor of the channel.